Let's leave Alswort just to reset the aggro on these fellas. Ah! Jeez Louise, don't do that! Don't spawn zombies the moment you walk into the freaking. Get out of here! I will judo kick your ass on out of here, buddy. Oh, God. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the very much anticipated Dead Frontier 2. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon. Apparently, this game has been in development for about 10 years, which is insane. This comes out on August 31st for all of you guys. I do have a couple of early days here before it. Um, I'll be showing you the game. If you want to see more beyond this video, let me know in the comments by leaving a thumbs up. We can definitely do so. This is an online co-op survival zombie game. And more importantly, a lot of you might be excited to hear this. It is a free game. I wanted to go with the dude. The dude... Not That's not how you spell Vladimir. I'm going to go with Vladimir Pudding. Oh, come on. I can't put the G. Look, you're not going to take Vladimir Pudding away from me, okay? There you go. You can't go wrong with Vladimir Pudding. Um, Let's see. Vladimir does is not bald yet. Getting there. I'm going to say short. That's good. Okay. Uh, Gray. Yes, absolutely. You know, Pudding's got a little bit of a round, small face, don't he? I think um, D works out pretty good. Yeah, that'll be our boy Vladimir Pudding right here. Let's go to create character. Now, I took this out for a spin last night. You know, probably like 10 or 15 minutes or so, just to kind of get acquainted with it. And get the effects right, the settings correct. Um, it looks really promising. It looks really promising, that's all I can tell you. This is my car and that's Sergeant Thompson's car. Sergeant Thompson might actually be another player. Multiplayer game joined successfully. Yes, this is a multiplayer game. Um, these will probably be other people from the press. You might see your YouTuber here, and there are a couple of reviewers from websites, beta testers, whatever it might be. Um, I could check out the character over here, profile. That is Sergeant Thompson, huh? Hi, Sergeant Thompson. Good luck in your journey. As you can imagine, it's a co-op game, so we could definitely team up with people, chat in the game, and all that stuff. But right now, I'm going to roll solo here and try to survive. Okay, so the first thing that I found out last time was go to tab initially when you start and add a skill. You start off one level, never tells you. But I, I, I found that out looking at the UI and I was like, oh, look, I have a free skill. That'd been very nice to know. I personally like the idea. I like to carry a lot of stuff, right? Um, you can't run initially. You can't sneak around initially. You basically learn those. Fast learner will give you more experience, which sounds very good in the long run. Um, I'm going to go with um, Brute Strength Melee Expert. We don't have a gun forever. We gotta find a weapon here as a backup. But you know what? Early on, I like the idea of kickboxing. Just because it gives you sometimes enough room to kick a zombie off your ass and just push him away. Um, ideally, you wanna treat this kinda like a survival game. Don't use up your ammo on everything you see. That's one of the big things I did early on. And I found out it was a terrible decision on my part. Okay, here we have the legal watch ink. I think our goal is the Dalbo Police Department. I'll be honest with you, I've never made it there just because I always get distracted with everything else. So I've never been to the legal watchman, Inc. So let's go in there to begin with. And we want to look for food. We want to look for items, weapons, whatever you name it. And we want to keep ourselves alive in the same process here. And also conserve our ammo. We have a Zambro over there. The game looks fairly good. It is hidden like among like a bunch of like extra special effects. So the game is really dark because it kind of plays to the effect where it makes it look good because it's dark. Um, we have to worry about energy, which is food, calories. We'll have like a bunch of different food, different calories, and hydration, water, stuff like that, right? So, um, Zambro here has spotted me. That's fine. There's a body right there we definitely want to inspect. Essentially, you're going to be running into a bunch of like side quests, and that's how you m primarily level up, as well as killing zombies will level you up too. I'm not sure if the kick could ever kill a Zambro, or if it's mainly just for staggering purposes. And I took a hit there, but that's fine. Found nothing at all. Okay. And as I mentioned, if you could, you know, not do it, don't kill. That's why I think the, the kick is really good early on because it helps you conserve ammo. Um, nothing else here to mess around with, so let's check this door out. And let's see here really quickly. That damage was for six. Okay. Um, we can heal up with different, like, medicine we'll find. There's poisoning in the game. You can find, like, stuff to, like, fend off bacteria, food poisoning, zombie poisoning. It's fairly like, you know, for 10 years in the making, allegedly, they've done a lot of work here. We found an exhaust over here. I'm not really sure what that is. I think that might be for the vehicle. Yeah, okay. I've also found a fuel injector off camera. So I think you could like pimp your vehicle out and maybe eventually drive it. I can't tell for 100% fact, but 
If there's items for the vehicle, I imagine you might be able to use it at some point. Alright, we'll come in through here. I almost kind of want to go to the police station and like not mess around, but like my sense of exploration always overwhelms me. And I've never been here before. I mean, I've only been to like honestly one place beforehand, which was like a donut shop. And there was like a, a zombie and they're like on fire and she would chase me and like puke on me. It was actually really quite terrifying. Now, don't be convinced that just because you see a zombie on the floor, they're dead. They could trick you sometimes. I learned that the hard way last time, <laughs> or last night anyway, which was, ooh, 12 shotgun shells. See, that's the reason why I want to explore, because I would like to get more handgun bullets for now, because we only got 30. Um, yeah, I was testing this game out last night, as I mentioned, and um, yeah, I wasn't expecting one of these quote-unquote dead zombies to suddenly wake up and, you know, scream pretty loud late at night. Pretty sure that my neighbors hate my guts. Where did you show up from? You were not around anywhere when I first entered. Okay, you haven't spotted me right now, which is fine. Um, big zombies are, are really annoying. I think most of them puke. We found the shirt. Um, that might be some of the cosmetic things. So that's something that you probably see if you switch out. You stay over there. Um, green, incoming damage, attack speed and aim speed goes down. Sure, I guess. And you can actually see the changes in your character. And what I meant by cosmetic um, purchases is going to be up here. So you can definitely, I guess, use like actual money to make your character look good. But they promise no stat boosting or pay to win stuff. So, you know, hope they keep to their word. Um, if you're wondering, can you ever turn this light off? No. Um, I've hit F and L. Can never come off. Good bodies here to search, though. The only thing, there's like one big mama here. And big mama is uh, a problem sometimes, because I mentioned... She likes to puke on you. She likes to go out, get really, you know, party drunk. Oh, oh ho, and we had, we had a dude pretending to be dead. I might get bitten right now, I might get bitten, please don't. Burn kit, run, 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 okay, we got him, we got him. Were you highlighted for a second? No, you were just reflecting from the, like, gotcha. Okay, we got everything in there without necessarily killing. I mean, it's a survival game, so we obviously still have to go out and search to Oh, boy. To replenish your supplies, please don't do that. Come here, you. Come here, you. You want to get kicked? I've been practicing my judo pretty well. You stumble back. Yeah, okay. Karate, judo, whatever. Not really good when it comes to martial arts, really. I took a martial arts class when I was a young kid. Um, and I quit because a girl beat me up, and that, that was the end of it. <laughs> Never showed my face back there, yeah. Actually, she didn't really beat me up, but I think it was really fairly silly of this, um, this martial arts teacher. By the way, I don't think he was really a martial arts teacher. I mean, it's a public school martial arts class. I don't really think they really went out of their way to really teach us good stuff there. But this guy puts me up against a female, and I, you know, like, she was twice my size in my defense. Like, she was pretty big, man. Um, so she, if she wanted to, she probably could have kicked my ass fairly easily. But at the same time, like, I felt kind of weird. Like, I know it's like, even as a kid, as a young, like, I didn't want to, like, necessarily, like, strike a, a female. I know it's just a class, but still, I just didn't feel comfortable with it, you know? So, you know, I, I honestly blame that teacher for me, necessarily. I, I ran out of the ring, in case you're wondering. Like, she chased me a bit, <laughs> it's like the little square thing, and I just ran out. I was like, I'm not having any of this, and I just ran out. Oh, boy. Okay, your people. Okay, so, um, this is what happens when we come here. So we have Harlow Cruz, we have a trader, which is Chief Banks, okay. Can we discuss, um, anything with you, like, maybe current events? Do you want to talk about that, Victoria Thornton? You'll die out there. I was held up in 126 Cooper Road. Oh, these might be quests, maybe? Yeah. Uh, with some other survivors when we were attacked by a large group of infected. In the panic, I managed to drop my brooch. It really has a lot of sentimental value, and I would never forgive myself if I lost it for good. Would you be able to go there and look for it? I'm offering a reward to anyone who finds it. Your brooch is really as important as zombie apocalypse. I mean, all right. I guess like you'll be part of my quest log and I can just do whatever I want. Mission log. Yeah. Okay. So, well, we got that, which is fine. But let me talk to my boy Hunter Ellis here now. I represent a group of survivors from scientific backgrounds who are attempting to produce a cure. In order to do this, we need an ample supply of blood samples from the infected creatures. Um. Okay. So go somewhere. And he will give me experience and money as well. Not as much experience as Victoria, but, um... We get three samples at the Sunnydale Apartments. Okay, let's just pick up all the quests and then we'll kind of do them as we travel and look around. Could have sworn I heard like somebody gurgling and I was like, you're not turning into a zombie on me, are you? Oh, there's more people here. Oh, dude. Alright, so I guess 
It's safe in here. And then all of you guys will give me a different quest. I see. I would like a quest that gives me a weapon. So Officer Mac, we can't just keep scavenging. At some point, we're going to have to run into... Then what? Yeah, you're right. Uh, you, you, you make a good point. Oh, we're going to go up. Is this place completely safe? It seems fairly well boarded up. So, like, you've done a really good job of keeping the zombies out because everything is boarded up here. Dude, if this doesn't give you, like, Resident Evil vibes, I don't know what will. So we want to stick in Dowable missions for now. So we can go to the Shop and Go. Oh, you know what? I think I know where the Shop and Go is because I went to it off camera. And it was, like, somewhere behind, like, you know, for a convenience store, I felt it was fairly well hidden. And I was like, you know what? It's not very convenient if you're trying to, like, you know, prior to the zombie apocalypse, you're trying to get some you know, profit in your business. But for some reason, like, the shop and go convenience center is, like, behind this, like, abandoned alleyway. <laughs> so it's kind of like, who's going to know to come and check back here? But that was, you know, that was a, a legitimate decision they made when they decided to open this here. This shop and go? Yeah, who's going to come back over here to go into this convenience shop? Nobody. All right. Well, let's go. I should have probably read the mission a bit more clear, but, um, it's fine. Big key required. Okay. Um, hopefully zombies don't show up here. I look for the missing pendant. Return it to Fabiola Bowman. Okay, right. right. Well, I'm not sure what the other ones are, but I definitely know that this is the this place. Otherwise, I would not be here. Hi! You're a, a pretty big buff zombie, I would say, huh? You've been really putting in some work in those weights. I'm going to let's run because um, luckily you are rather slow, so there is that. I will kick you in the face, dog. Don't make me do it. Because I will do it. Like that. We can search this over here, too. So, I guess we could either find this brooch... Rounds, that's good. I'm not sure where we could find it. On the floor... On a cabinet... On a body... Don't kick the freaking cabinet. It's done nothing to you. It's not really a cabinet. More of a shelf. Oh! Hey! Well, there's the pendant. Good. Well, before we leave, it's probably in our best intention to look around for some items there, right? And apparently one area here requires a big key, so that'd be very something. Uh, keep a lookout! Oh god, don't pop out immediately! Oh, there's another one in the corner. It's gotta kick you. I definitely want to check this out. How can we make this happen, guys? Would you allow me to... ...get this done as soon as possible? Um, in case you're wondering, I can't kick constantly. There's a cooldown, which is in the lower left corner. So when my the green karate thing is good to go, I could kick. Ow! I beg to differ. That should have been a roundhouse kick, and all of you guys should have gone down. I'm not sure if I could pull this off. Well, taking damage. I got a big key! Okay, I took damage, but you know what? I got the big key for that room, so that's cool. I don't mind it. Hey, big boy. Once we get the next level up, you know what I should have done? Maybe instead of the kick? No, no, I think the kick's good. But I think, um, stealthing would have been pretty good, too. Maybe that's the way to... Get around these guys. I mean, they're not really affected by light. Otherwise, it'd give you a chance to turn this light off eventually. Um, I think the only room that we have here is going to be this. Is there a map? My answer is no. Not a map. All right. Let's go to this big room. Oh, good God. Why is that guy lit up like that? This is like straight up out of Fallout or something. Hey. How you doing there, big mama? You know, I, I'm just going to say this, but you should... That body there is alive, too. I w I'm just gonna say this, but you should probably, um, you know, wear a bra. Just, you know, just... Not that I'm looking. Again, you're undead. I don't think the other zombies really pay attention to that, but still. Um, is it just me, or is there really, like, nothing in here other than this big dude? And I I'd rather not deal with him. Okay. Let's leave for now. Maybe eventually there's a quest there, or maybe I have to kill those guys to get some good item. But I ain't wasting my precious ammo on that nonsense, so I think we save it. We got at least this for... What's her face? So that's good. Apparently, Fluffy, whatever, joined the game as well, and I think they also exited the game immediately. They got spooked away, you know? I don't blame them. It's a spooky game. Dr oh, Drunken Sailor. T oh, my God, okay. Dude. You know, I can really get to talk to these people who own these stores before the zombie apocalypse. Be like, what were you thinking when you set up your, your decisions, like, you know, set up shop here? Like, who's gonna come in here? Like, you put them in the front, dog, not the side. Up here, up front. Shoot, stop blinding me. Um, you, you know, put the door up here, you put a sign up here. So we have, like, Sarah's Diner here. Um, one of them was the watering hole, which I believe is there, right? But... Since there's no zombies here right now, let's go ahead and take a look in this dumpster crash. And we got ourselves more bandages, good. We've taken some damage by, by trying to avoid, you know, using my ammunition here. 
But that's okay. The Drunken Sailor. Now, what is this one like? Am I supposed... Ooh, okay. Before... I think she turned around already. Yeah, she's coming. Old key. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, we got the old key. Old key required. Oh, good. Okay, well, I have it already. Great. Um, Let's leave elsewhere just to reset the aggro on these fellas. Ah, jeez Louise, don't do that. Don't spawn zombies the moment you walk into the freaking... Get out of here. I will judo kick your ass on out of here, buddy. Oh, God. Okay, search that. Let's look at we have some room between us and him. Hurry up. Soda. Yes, I will definitely take the soda. Or as some people call it, the pop. I know the Canada bros say pop. I was told that in one of my <laughs> um, Miss Survival videos because I had a little bit of a monologue about calling sodas pops because of one of my ex-girlfriends. Somebody was like, Falcon, as a matter of fact, in Canada, people say pop. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, that thing's on fire. Yo. Yo, we've seen yellow zombies and then fire zombies. And more importantly, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but there was nothing in there that particularly looked like it was lootable. So I don't think we should go in there. Just kind of like a room. The big key room was the same thing. You know how it was like nothing in there other than a big mobster? Or like a big mob enemy. <laughs> he wasn't a, a mobster zombie. At least I don't think he was. Shh. He spotted me. Oh, dude, you're, you're kind of fast for a big dude. Bandits. Excuse me. Remove yourself from my premise. Search this and we're out. Chaco spread. Ooh. That sounds actually fairly delicious. Would that be like Nutella? 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 Whatever. Um, what am I supposed to be doing in this um, area again? I honestly forgot. Let's see if I can look at my log. Would unnecessarily dry in the eye of these... Oh, God. Why do you got to be here, Big Mama? Big Mama, why you got to be here? Let me hit a corner up. I just want to see what the mission here was. Stay there, Big Mama. Mission log. Um, uh, watering hole double. Uh, Gale stand alive or dead? Dr oh, drunken sailor. T oh my God. Okay, dude. Uh, watering hole double. Dr oh, drunken sailor. T oh my God. Okay. Um, Gale Stanton alive or dead? So, I'll be honest with you here, dog. Everything here is dead. So, am I supposed to, like, kill a zombie and they're gonna drop an ID for me or something? Well, Gale... Is Gale a ma I feel like Gale could be either a male or a female name. Well... I guess we're gonna have to kill a couple of zombies after all. No. Oh man. I don't like using my ammo for this. I'm not sure we should be doing this mission. Not letting this until like I find like a melee weapon, cause you know, what am I supposed to just run around and like kill every single zombie until I finally hit Gale, whoever that might be? That seems fairly silly to me. Unless all right, let's go back one more time into, like, fire zombie country. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. Gale, Gale, ID. You guys see anything at all? I don't see anything at all, man. Oh, 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 right. You run. Oh, wow, wow, wow. You did something to me that's red and radioactive. Okay. I regret everything about this decision in my life right now. Why, why, why am I red? What does the red signify? Is it a burn? I mean, the zombie was like fire zombie. It's maybe a burn. All right, let, let's um check this out once we're outside. I'm gonna leave now. Forget the watering hole. Forget it. I'm not into get like a melee weapon. I can't use my small ammo on this situation right now. Um, let's uh, wh what's affecting me? A bacterial infection, huh? That's that's cool. I lose health per minute. Bacterial infection. Okay, how do I um deal with a bacterial infection here? Burns kit. Yeah, and th nothing on me really deals with a. With a bacterial infection. So I'm hoping that it removes itself after a while. Because I'm going to be losing health over time. Not necessarily happy about that. Alrighty, well, let's go and deliver at least the pendant. And maybe get some nice experience for this. Danny the Finest has joined the game. Welcome aboard, Danny the Finest. Hopefully you have a better time here so far. The watering hole. Excuse me? 
Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, I think we've made a big mistake here. <laughs> the watering hole. Why did I read the watering hole as the drunken sailor? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, both of them are like fairly, you know, bar names, right? Like when you hear the drunken sailor or the watering hole, what do you think of? You think of a bar. This was the one for the, well, that was the entire time. Oh my goodness, God. Alrighty, well, let's go deliver this mission first and we'll come back to that afterwards. That's just, that's just silly. That's just... <laughs> I assure you I could read. I don't know what happened there at all, but I could read. <laughs> oh, this is a drunken statue. Yeah, sure it is. Actually, it was. Oh, look, it's Fluffy. Hey, must be nice to be level 12 Fluffy with, like, all the uh, equipment in the world. Must be very nice. Alrighty. I think Gale was... Jeez Louise, something just dropped outside of my house and... Or outside of my room and I'm freaking out now. <laughs> what the hell was that? Um, Fabiola Bellman, I think you're the one. Were you the one? For... Pen yeah, yeah, you're the one. Help will come, right? Complete mission. We have earned 75 and 63. Thank you. I got an ex I level up, that's good. That is good, that makes me happy. I'm not happy about that infection not leaving, but um, it's still hurting me, but what can you do? So, add a skill, which one do we go with now? I'm gonna take a look at this off camera and see if there's something that gives me like a weapon early on. I should probably get a melee expert to find a weapon though, huh? Yeah. Alrighty, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see a little bit more of the old um, Dead Frontier 2, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. Comes out on the 31st for all of you guys. It will be free. I will catch you next time.